Hey guys, guys, welcome, welcome back, back to Molly's Part 3 of Molly's Exciting Toys and Painting. So, we left off with this. And I last left off when I was doing the tree. So, so um, if you're doing mine, you don't need a... You might want to have a Sharpie, but you don't need one because we might do something else. Okay, guys. Now back to... Okay, so okay I know what we're going to do. What I'm going to be doing, guys, is you know how... If you watch part two, you know that how to do the tree. You're just going to do that again on the... Um, if you did it on the right side first, then you're going to do it on the left side. If you did it on the left side first, then you're going to do it on the right side, okay? <laughs> so I need two trees on each side, okay? Okay, got it. Guys are very smart. You guys are smarties. Okay, guys, I'm gonna share what I'm doing with you in a second. Um, okay, I'm, I'm trying to get all of this on. What are you doing? I'm using that. You're like, what am I doing? What are you doing? You know there's other ones, right? I know, but I'm using this one. This one's really important. Okay. Okay, guys, so um, okay. make sure you get a nice clean. So guys, remember, wait, does this have green on it? I'm using green. Okay, well that was kind of a waste, but I'm so okay. You guys are gonna get um a green, the green that you used. I want you to dip your paintbrush in it. So or, guys, make sure that you or your marker. Guys, make sure that you watch part two to know what to do with the, my tree. So um yeah. Okay, so um basically we're gonna get the paintbrush with the same color that you basically used the other times. It's just gonna be darker. So you're gonna outline your hill with this color, so it's gonna look darker and nicer. Is that a hill? Why well, was still grass. It was kind of a meadow thing, but we're making it like a hill now type thing. I don't really know. It's supposed to be sort of a meadow. Okay, light. guys. And you want it to be as dark as you can, mm -hmm. but you want it to still be that nice green color. So okay, guys. Now I'm trying to. So it's completely okay if it's not perfect looking. Yeah. Like I have a big bump on the side versus yeah. like in the middle. So guys, what you want to do with mine is you need to watch part two to know what to do for the tree because we're going to do that on the this one side that's blank, okay? I didn't even use the marker. I, I was going to use original. And definitely you can give this several coats to make it just like really nice. And guys, I'm still going to go over what to do. So you're going to take your brown color and you're kind of just going to make like a little branch, you know, where a tree it was. And if you're not completely yeah. satisfied with how, with the height, you can make a, some parts a little thicker with, or like a little bit bigger with the outlining than others. So it doesn't look like this has such a big bump because this is kind of like it too. Like that's kind of what I'm Okay, guys, so you're going to take really your, happy. you're going to kind of make a branch and just make your branch. And guys, yes, so Rebecca said this in the last video, just in case you didn't watch part two to know what to do. If we're going too slow for you guys, we're kind of just going slow for the other people that might be going a little more slow. You guys, I'm going to paint on your thing. You guys can totally fast forward. So you can just or if you're going too fast, you can just pause the video and like catch up whenever you need to. Yeah, do whatever you want, guys. This is this is not us controlling. It's you you're kind of controlling us. No one's controlling anyone. What am I saying? Once you think it's dark enough, just give it some coats. Also, I don't really like this part down here, so I might cut it off at the end. But I don't really know. So, so you guys. Yeah, don't do the full width. Don't do what you want until the very end. Just so I'm saying, because then you might not like it. And you might be like, oh, I wish I kept that part. So don't cut anything off until you're fully sure. Yeah, until the end. And then you might end yeah. up liking what your mistakes were. Yeah. Uh, don't do what I just did, which was cleaning your brush off, because I don't know why I did that. Um, so you're basically going to keep your brush with that same color. And now you're going to make another hill. Like a little higher and almost like to the sky. Okay, guys. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take... Oh, by the way, hold on. You guys don't need to do this blue yet. Because uh, I wasn't really thinking at the beginning, like, what I was going to do. And I just started, like, making the sky. And I was like, why did I do that? Oh. And, guys, if you already did that blue, it's totally fine. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm going to do the sky still, so... Okay, guys. So you're going to take your light green of anything, but if you have a pencil, then you can't really do that, so you might want to 
it's something else. But you're going to then kind of just dab around like we did with the um, grass. You're just kind of gonna dab all around um, your pear. And you're gonna use your light green first. And you can also kind of blend these colors. Like when this comes down to here, you can kind of like cover it up like that and make it look like it never even happened. So you can do as many hills as you want. I'm just going to do one because I want to have a lot of room for the sky and make it look nice. But you can do it as many hills as you want. going to be nice. Yeah, and I might have made this hill a little high and I could have made more hills, but I'm just going to make this one. And then after this, I'm going to use this paper towel, and I'm going to do what I did all along here, but it's not okay, going to be as much. So after you do that light... Oh, th by the way, this time, you guys can dry off your paper. Just so you know. And guys, I need to bring this up for a second. So guys, you Let's now... Do it the first time. You now have your... this. You should have this for your second tree. Your light green, and then your den. Now this is a lot better than this one, guys. So this is what your finished product should look like. When you're, done with, when you're done with the tree. Oh, it just has a bunch of stuff on it. Okay. And then you're going to take your dark green. Hey, why aren't you using my finished product? And um, when you take your dark green, you're going to kind of do the same thing, but with dark green. And that's what you're And it's totally it. okay if this is a little bit darker. I mean, it's completely darker on mine. You might need to like, do something with your fingers if you really want to. Like, I really want to because I don't want it to look like this. Okay, guys, so you're just going to keep taking your dark green and you're going to keep dabbing like with like with you did like what you did with your light green. But still make sure that people can see your light green because you don't want it to look like a total disaster. So. Thanks. And also for a tip for Molly's, you might want to like put more light green after you let the dark green. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Good job, sister. And guys, do not rub it like boom, boom. Like don't rub it like that because that won't look... That will kind of mess up what I'm trying to say right now. So, and also, oh my gosh, I just made this. That looks cute. It doesn't look pretty, so like, oh cool. I might like do that. Oh, I don't know, it has a little bag, but okay. Like, okay. okay, guys. So that's the result of your tree when it's done. Also, my make sure you like make all of this dark. Make it like blend into the light. You done? Okay. Uh, you guys totally catch up. I'm gonna I'm gonna perfect some of my mistakes and catch us on the part four. Uh, yeah. bye guys. This is what it should end looking like.